In this video, we'll develop a model for the gravitational force near the surface of the Earth. For example, if a ball is falling near the surface, I could say there is a gravitational force on the ball by the Earth. The Earth is the agent, the gravitational force is the type of force, and the ball in this case would be the object. The assumptions going into our gravitational force model are that first, the Earth is flat and not rotating. Second, we'll say m is the mass of the object, and g here is the acceleration due to gravity, which is a positive constant. Since our force is a vector, our model is going to give us a magnitude and a direction for the force. The magnitude will be the mass times g, the acceleration due to gravity. This is also a positive number since both these quantities are positive. And the direction is down toward the Earth, perpendicular to the surface of the Earth. So I, here we have a physics professor that is falling near the surface of the Earth. The person has a mass I'll call m sub p. So our model then says there is a force due to gravity. Here I've given it sub g for gravity and the vector sign to indicate it's a force. It has a magnitude equal to the mass times g, and then the direction then is down. Well, let's get a mathematical representation of that. First of all, let's identify a coordinate system. The positive x is up. In that case, the magnitude of the force is still the same, and the direction would be along the negative x-axis, since it always points down. In one dimension, given our simplified vector notation, I would write that as f sub g is equal to negative mass of the object times g, where here the negative indicates the direction of the force in one dimension. I don't have to use that coordinate system, however. Here's another coordinate system where I've identified the positive y-axis as down. In this case, the force due to gravity still has the same magnitude. Its direction, which is still in the same direction, which is down, but in this, with this coordinate system, that would be in the positive y direction. So in one dimension, my force due to gravity would be a positive mass of the object times g. The sign here again indicates the direction, which for this coordinate system is positive. As is often the case, our definition is given in words, and we must translate what that means to a mathematical representation, giving the context and the coordinate system of our problem.